Hi guys, welcome back to Alex Media. Today we're at the North East Guitar Show, so let's have a look around. Alright, so I'm here with Simon from Gilla Guitars, so let's have a look at what you have here. Okay, well we've got a range of, of bass guitars. We started yeah. off doing basses. Mm. Michael Gillick's been a bass player his whole life. Yeah. And he set out to kind of really write rules about how you make an acoustic bodied instrument. Mm. So um, we we don't build it any way the same as anybody else. Yeah. We have an internal frame, no skin bracing at all, uh -huh. and struts that join to the shoulder. That makes the skins resonate much more freely, gives yeah. a much warmer, much more double bassy sound, which is kind of what you set out to do. Yeah. It's also short scale, uh -huh. but with extra long, we have diagonal through body stringing, um, which I can just show you so the strings pop out at the back there oh yeah um which gives you um the comfort of playing with a short scale but uh -huh. really good sustain and string tension from having extra long strings yeah so we started off doing about four years ago doing the, the basses and um last summer we created our first guitar yeah and we, again we tried to rewrite learn what we've learned from doing the basses uh -huh. so it has the same kind of internal structure um but it's a, it's a lot lighter um and it's got um, single coil and a, and a humbucker, yeah. so it can, it, it can be a good electric, mm -hmm. but it's also got a piezo and the bridge that picks yeah. up all the acoustic tones, uh -huh. so it can be a good acoustic, plugged in acoustic, yeah. and you can blend the two, uh -huh. and then it becomes a hybrid. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. So when you did, you started doing the basses four years ago, yes, um, and then you started doing the guitar. Was there any particular reason that you've made that shift, or is it just a, a gradual? Um, two two reasons. Um, one, the market for basses, particularly in this country, yeah. is a very, especially acoustic body basses, uh -huh. is a very small niche market. Yeah. Um, so we felt we could grow the business quicker by having a guitar, but we yeah. also felt we could do something different, um, bring something different to the marketplace yeah. um, that hopefully people will like and, um, you know, they'll find it useful. Yeah. 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 And so do you find that you sell more bass than guitar or is it the other way around? At the moment it's still more basses than guitars, yeah. but um, that's because the guitar is very new. Yeah. Um, you know, we're still a very small company. Um, we, I mean, we sold 12 instruments last year. Yeah. Um, and two of those with guitars. Uh -huh. Ho hopefully this year, you know, things will, will start to change around. Yeah. So how long? Grow. How long does it take to make an instrument? Difficult question. <laughs> Hate that question. Um, we we use. Um, I mean, there's about 25 hours mm -hmm. in the workshop yeah. assembling parts and hand finishing. Mm -hmm. But we to make our instruments um, consistent and, and and of a high quality. Yeah. We employ sort of as many modern techniques as we feel are appropriate. So I mean, the the shoulders are um, five axis CNC routed. Yeah. The the skins are a laser cut um, so really where, where our kind of skill comes in is well designing all the parts to start with yeah but also then putting them together in a really precise consistent way so you know you get you know quality instrument at that, that you know that price yeah. range it should be you know great all right so that's it for now check out Gillet Guitars and you guys have a Facebook page don't you? We do have a Facebook page yeah and we're about to within the next week or so we're about to launch a new website as well which has uh, an online yeah. selling facility. Mm -hmm. so. Right that will be in the description make sure to check them out.